Okay, it is Thursday, December 28th, and we are out trying to get some steps in after over and indulging over the holidays. We are puppy sitting Lily, so we thought we'd take her for a walk too. Maybe she can burn off some energy, you think? Maybe. Maybe. So we're gonna go for a walk and enjoy the sunshine. Absolutely. We'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> is it just me or do I kind of expect this car to turn into Optimus Prime, this big truck? I shouldn't call it a car, this truck. You know, LOL. I don't know. Lily. 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 Hey, hey. You want to say hi to the people? You don't care? You're too busy looking out the window? Okay. That's the way you want it. But you've got fans out there, you know. Hi guys, it's Friday, it's December 29th, it's late in the day, it's already 5.16 p.m. I only know that because I'm in front of the computer. Editing video, I was chatting with the new teaching team for my creative year, the Facebook group. The videos are always loaded to YouTube, but personal interaction with um, the students and teachers and hints and tips and the community is on Facebook. Um, so we provide the content to you here on YouTube for free and the content over in Facebook too. But if you want to be part of the community environment, all you're going to get here on YouTube are the videos. The environment is over on Facebook. Um, so go check it out. I'll put the link down in the description below. Anyway, it's about to start on Monday, so um, we were working out some last minute issues. We expect a little bit of a bumpy road the first couple weeks because there always seems to be, and we try to leave it fairly flexible so that we can um, adjust what we plan on doing with what the students want to do, which sometimes are two different things. So um, anyway, we're pretty excited. I think it's going to be a great year, and uh, yeah. Hope you all join us there. So I'm gonna finish editing my video. My house is quiet as you can hear. And um, so I'm able to get a lot of stuff done today. And uh, yeah, just chill and relax. I don't have to drive anywhere. I don't have to cook anybody dinner. <laughs> just, you know, yay. <laughs> all right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Hi everybody, it's Friday, December, no, Saturday, Saturday. December 30th. 30th, Yes. yes. And we are headed out to go spend all of his... I'm going to help him spend his gift cards. Isn't that nice of me? See, look, I got gift cards. He's got a, he's got a bunch of them. That's just two. So we're headed out to a couple of different places. If anything funny happens, well, I'll film it for you. And I want to make sure I spend all of it, not that I have 55 cents left over on a card that I hoard for the next three years. No, he's actually got one of those. That's why he mentioned it, which is just... That just cracks me up. Why don't they just give you the 55 cents back? All right, I'll be back. Okay, next stop, Best Buy. Best Buy. The land of electronics. We don't really need anything, but I think hus hubby has some ideas of what he might want. So we'll see what we can find and I'll film that camera that I don't need and can't afford, but it's so pretty. I'll film it. All right, I'll be so back. So we're in Best Buy looking around and there's the camera. It's a Canon Vixia, which I have, but this is a, the big daddy with the one I have. Yeah, I don't really need it, but it is really cool to the TV people with my husband so he can ask some questions about a little piece of technology he wants and I got totally distracted by the vinyl. Who knew Best Buy sold vinyl? I didn't. Very cool. 20 bucks for a Beatles album. Who remembers when they were less than half that? Wow. Okay, so we are trying to get out of the Best Buy parking lot and we're done here. Next, we're going to Home Depot give a gift card to there that I think we've actually had for quite a while. Um, we're just not going to tell Polly as my daughter's boyfriend that we're going to Home Depot because he works for one of those subsidiaries of Lowe's. So he gets a little annoyed when we shop at the competition. So we're just not going to say anything, right? That's right. So We'll buy something for $25. Right. Well, Nothing more. Right. 
All right, that's it. We'll be back. Okay, we killed another gift card at Home Depot. We're going to Dick's next, Dick's Sporting Goods. Sure. We've got one more to kill. <laughs> so we're going to go work on that. We'll be back. Killing another gift card. We're at the Sporting Goods store this time. Yeah. No idea what we're going to get. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here on the floor of my office. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 6 o'clock. I did this big acrylic pour. Um, this tray here is from uh, the hardware store. It's what you put underneath your washing machine in case it leaks. Um, anyway, I had this idea to take one of my old canvases that wasn't very well done and um, work on repainting it. And this is just the first layer. And my idea for learning acrylic pouring always was with the thought that I would use it as a background or um, embellishment or something in my painting and not as a standalone. So um, this is the first step towards that and um, you know I'm inspired by uh, some of the journal pages I've been doing lately that have lots of white space and negative space on them. So I have this very lightly colored swath of color kind of through the middle of the canvas um, as the first, first part of this painting and um, there are, you know, grooves and divots and lumps and bumps, and that's exactly what I want. In fact, we're going to be adding more to them um, in part two, and this is going to be a multi-part video series coming out on YouTube, but you all get a sneak peek. So uh, there you have it. All right, it's going to take a couple of days probably to dry, so I'm going to let it do that, and I don't know what I'm going to get up to tomorrow, but I'll let you know. I'll be back. Hey, guys. So it is New Year's Eve. It is December 31st. It is 1226 lunchtime and I am headed out to the grocery store. The husband didn't really want to go and he was like, we can go tomorrow. They're open tomorrow. I'd rather just get it over with. So I'm like, why don't you stay here? And also, I really can go do it by myself. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Get some groceries. We're staying home for New Year's Eve. We are not going anywhere. Um, we have a senior dog, as most of you know. And uh, like most dogs, hates fireworks. So we're going to just stay home and chill at home. And, you know, it's been a week and a half or so of just, because it's the holidays, nonstop family and friends and parties and dinners and yeah. So we may go out to an early di quiet dinner, just the two of us. And then come home and just chill at home before people in my neighborhood start lighting off fireworks or, you know, drunk drivers hit the road or any of that. Um, and no, fireworks are not legal in San Jose, but that doesn't seem to stop anybody. <laughs> so they set them off anyway. And there's so many illegal fireworks going off that usually the police can't keep up. So, um, yeah. New Year's Eve. It's a big ball of fun. I don't know when I became such a grouchy person, but yeah, anyway. All right, I'm going to go do my thing and I will be back. So it is New Year's Eve. It is late in the afternoon. Not quite dinner time. I've spent a little bit of time here playing with one of my new stamp sets for 2018. This is Hand and Heart number 15. And one that I got for Christmas from Caravella Studio. Some paint, some ink. Tim, Hen um, Tim Holtz mini stencils. Um, I print, I stamped some of my images, my stamp set on deli paper. And then also, this is one of my new printouts for 2018. Some new words and new phrases. And with all of that, I created this fun little page. So that's how I'm spending my New Year's Eve. I hope whatever you're doing, you're having a safe, happy one, and I will see you in the new year. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, January 1st, 2018. Yeah, hoo. happy new year. <laughs> um, I am headed out to Michael's. Sorry, the squeaking is a thing in my front seat of my car. I have to return. So I um, got um, for Christmas one of those, it's a Recollections 
desktop marker organizer cabinet, which I love. I already have three of them in my office. I got another one for Christmas. Anyway, my, I asked my husband to open it and put it together for me, and he opened it, and <laughs> um, it has parts in it for a corner cabinet that I don't even think Michael sells. So I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, I'm going to go. I don't have the receipt or anything, so I'm going to go see if I can return it. I don't know how that's going to go. I was in the middle of rearranging my office and that sort of thing. So of course my office is a disaster. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna head over to Michael's and see if we can return it. Hopefully it's not too crowded, I hope. And uh, yeah, all right. Woohoo, interesting start to the new year. <laughs> Okay, back. so that was pretty easy. I didn't even have to sign anything or they just gave me a new one. The girl said what I did. What the hell? So, I don't know. Somebody very cleverly took, I think, the parts of the proper cabinet out of there, saved it, put some old parts from some old POS um, in the box, resealed it, and exchanged it. They did it very well. So they basically got a free cabinet, but seriously, what kind of effed up shit is that? I don't know. Anyway, I've got my new cabinet and I'm gonna go home, put it together. I went through all the boxes, made sure, although I did this last time that it was the one that was properly sealed. Pray the parts are correct in there this time. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, that's it. You put this cabinet together and have some lunch and then put my room back together because it's a mess. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it is Tuesday, January 2nd. As you saw, I've already been on the treadmill. I've been to physical therapy. I filmed a couple of short videos. But I wanted to show you guys that this dried paint on here, on this plastic tray, does indeed peel up really easy. So I can use this to do paint pours. And then I can save these drops as like acrylic skins. And I can use them on journal pages. So that makes me very, very happy. Oops, that one was still wet. I just stuck my finger in it. Ugh. So anyway, that's it for the moment. I will be back. Hey guys, how are you today? Uh, so I've spent the morning doing a bunch of filming and <laughs> I found yet another like hidden spot in my art room that hadn't been cleaned or anything in a good long while, I basically opened a drawer and looked in it and was like, what the hell? So I spent some time cleaning that out. Now I'm trying, I was getting my mail and so now I'm trying to get out of the parking lot without somebody running into my car and no, that's not like a fantasy. It's Stop! It's actually happened and here's the guy like speeding through the parking lot while people are trying to get out of their car. And he doesn't understand what the problem is, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, physical therapy is all over. Now both shoulders hurt. Um, but, you know, I'm learning the ways to properly move them and exercise them and work different muscles, use and work different muscles so that going forward they don't hurt me. So it's all good. All right, we are going to my favorite place, not the grocery store. All right, so we've got to do that. It's still pretty early, so there shouldn't be too many people over there because it's the middle of the morning. It's not quite lunch yet. So hopefully we can be in and out pretty quickly. And then Maybe we can stop and see if their mail is ready early on the way back. Because I'd like to not have to go out again today. But I don't know. We'll see. 
All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, January 5th. And I only know that because I've been up for a while and I was doing a bunch of typing and writing, checking in my planner for what I needed to do today. And yeah, I've been up since about 6.15ish. It is, what time is it? 9.49 a.m. right now. And I got all my daily writing, daily writing commitments done. I got um, the website updated. I got a um, Etsy store ad out on social media, uh, everywhere except Instagram at least. Uh, oh no, no, wait, I take that back, I didn't do Instagram. I've got laundry working. I've obviously showered because my hair is wet again. Um, and I feel like I'm missing something that I got something else done. I did get all my coffee, I ate my breakfast. So I'm headed out now to go battle, hopefully not too bad of morning rush hour traffic. It is almost 10 o'clock. That doesn't necessarily mean anything in San Jose. Traffic could still be horrible, but I've got to go pick up some product packaging this morning for the stencils. So uh, I'm going to go do that, maybe stop at Target and uh, take you along with me. Is that all right? Okay, we'll be back. picked up the pizza, I picked up what little bit of mail was ready, I'm so ready to go home and I'm gonna flip you guys around if I can, let's see, that's what it looks like outside, it just looks like it's gonna just start dumping water any second, so let's go home before it does. I have to wait for people to let us out of our parking space, because <laughs> they don't want to let me out. You will notice in this week's vlog I've included a few more days than normal. Uh, because I'm going to try to do it instead of Wednesday to Wednesday or Thursday to Wednesday, try to do it like Sunday to Saturday, like a normal week. <laughs> so anyway, because I get confused about when I should end it. And to be perfectly frank, Wednesday night I forgot to do an exit clip and I just kept filming the next day. So. I figured at some point yesterday when I realized what I was doing that I would just go with it. So we will do that. <clears throat> I've been doing my daily drawing in three different um, journals every day since Christmas, but I haven't done much in uh, the way of uh, painting or collage or anything in my other journals. Uh, I think I'm just needing to sort of get into a routine for the new year. You know, there's been disruptions up until this week. And now this week I just feel like I'm playing catch up. Um, I'm, things will calm down eventually and I'll get back into a normal arting routine. That doesn't mean I'm not filming for you guys here on YouTube because I have been. In fact, I'm booked out on videos or scheduled on videos through mid-February, I believe, and uh, we've got a new um, 
little series that I've already started and another one that I'm going to be doing. So, um, that I haven't filmed yet, but I'm sort of at the formulating plans in my head stage. Uh, so anyway. You're propped up at a funny angle because my hands are dirty. I was cleaning out the fireplace. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I think I better clean that off before I touch anything else. Don't you think? Everybody's going to be here in a few minutes or so. <laughs> it's Friday night, family dinner, game night, so it ought to be fun. And Lily is coming, the puppy, so of course if we get any cute footage of the puppy, you know I'll have the camera close by. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon. It is about 1230-ish, 12.39 to be exact. It says up there somewhere. Um, a week or two back uh, here on the vlog, I was cleaning out my studio and I said I had a couple of ephemera boxes to give away and I did pick two winners. <laughs> uh, neither one of you has responded um, in the affirmative with your mailing address or anything. So um, if you could please do that and get back to me. Wendy, I might actually have yours, but just let me know um, if you want the box. And um, yeah, congratulations to both of you, Letitia and Wendy for winning. Um, but yeah, get me your address so I can mail the box. Boxes, one to each of you. That's it for right now. I think we're gonna head out to Costco in a little bit. I'll be back. We're visiting the circus, otherwise known as Costco. Yep. Can see what's uh, gonna go through the jungle. Yeah. Oh Lord. Go through the jungle. We'll on the be other back. side, they were in front of us when we came down this aisle. I guess they didn't like our parking spot, so they had to go all the way to the end, turn but around. I think the spot we parked in is bigger, and they got a big old truck. I know. We're fine. We're already um, out the car. I'm just like driving. I said, we're at the circus known as Costco. <laughs> Yeah, these bags of food are all like way too big. There's only two of us. We'll have food for the next 20 years. Like that's look. I like game hens and all, but that's six game hens. What are we gonna do with six game hens? Right. This one's two or three. Yeah. Yeah, it's too many. We only have one kid, and she doesn't live at home anymore. So. I mean, the only thing it's good for is if they, if, is if um. We buy one for a Friday before they come over. Right? But I don't think, like I don't think uh, the kid, well, um, boys would like the game hens. I don't think his daughter would. Because, um, yeah, it's got bones on them. I think it's a crapshoot. I do think the secret to, secret to shopping at Costco is eat before you come. So I'm not interested in snacking this time. Yeah, we're clogging it. Huh? <coughs> uh, yeah. I think at this point we're just like trying hard to find things that we don't need to put in the cart. Looks like we're trying to find something to put in the cart, but we can't just buy it. Right? Mm, let's see. Now we're by the protein powders. I don't know. We don't need any. No, we don't need plant. We don't need soap or anything like that. I don't need the. I don't need the pens. Or, no. Mm -hmm. You don't need lasting hydration lip care collections? No. no. Little eggs? No. Vitamins? Do you Drugs. need your Breathe Right strips? I think I have, I think I have another one. Oh, okay. okay.
How cool is it, ladies, when your husband wants to take you to Tuesday morning? For dog, for dog stuff. <laughs> right? He says, he says I can't buy, well, he hasn't said, but I bet you I can't buy art supplies. I don't no, really need no any anyway. No art supplies. We're getting dog toys. Dog toys. But it was his idea to go to Tuesday morning, so that's where we're going. Because we got dog toys here last time. We did. Yep. For Christmas. So anyway, next. Go off down here really quick. I doubt I'll buy anything, but you never know. Ah, uh, that sounded like it fell and it broke. Where did you buy it? Yep. I didn't break it. I ain't buying it. In and out of Tuesday morning, I bought no art supplies. Ah. I did get a little strainer thing to try some paint things with, but, and we got, oops, oops, we got dog toys. We got a bunny for Lily. We got a goose. We got a goose and a dog. And this big, long hot dog thing. Hot dog, dog thing. <laughs> Hi guys. So it has been, um, just a week, a catch-up week, right? Week, the first week of the new year, we can sort of take a deep breath and hopefully have things not be too bumpy on our new journey. And uh, yeah, just kind of take a deep breath after the holiday. We spent some time this afternoon, as you saw, putting away Christmas decorations and, you know, all of that sort of thing and uh, cleaning up after the puppy, I guess. Yeah, between she and our dog, um, they both right now, because it's rainy outside, track a lot of mud and stuff in the house. So, anyway, uh, we hope you all have had, as I said last week, a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. It's been uh, an interesting adventure in 2017, and I and my husband look forward to 2018. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, that's it for right now. Uh, my new stencils and stamps for 2018 are out and available in the Etsy shop. And I will try to remember to put some video, some pictures here uh, at the end of the video. If you're interested, go over to the Etsy shop. The link's down below and uh, check them out. Um, there are videos coming out here on the channel with me using them, talking about them. I have one kind of semi-big project involving this, all of the stamps and all of the stencils. Yes, I said all of. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. Um, I'm a little crazy. But anyway, uh, we're going to do it anyway. All right. So, um, yeah, go check it out uh, and uh, get yourself a little something maybe. That's it for right now. Have a great day. Have a great week. Check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support my channel and the free content here on YouTube or over in the teaching group on Facebook, use the uh, uh, PayPal tip jar link um, or shop on my Amazon wish list. On they and all my social media links and everything else place that you can find me on the internet is in the link tree link in the video description below. It says link tree slash my name, you click on it, you're, there's a lot of places you can find me on the internet. All my stores, my website, everything. So click it, check it out, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Do something good for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.